video because um, you're expecting a vlog and yet I'm in my podcast position. Um, I didn't film an intro. <laughs> so this is the Woolen vlog. Um, this is future me and you're about to go to past me. I don't know if I talked to camera to start with, but there's a lot of higgledy piggledy stuff of footage that I took and I'm just going to try very hard to edit it. Um, so that's today's job. It is, look at the flick. Uh, <laughs> it is Thursday the 20th of June. So uh, we got home from our holiday in Dublin um, yesterday, last night. So I am in furious laundry mode, um, but I'm going to do the blah, 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 blah thing. You're gonna watch the vlog and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what I got. Look at face. Oh my god. Too close. <laughs> I've just I've just totally nerded out with someone. Um Mr. Mr. Hug. Oh the guy in the blue the guy that, yeah. Um about about vlogging equipment and cameras and stuff and I literally like geeked. Hello. Um so we're here. I haven't done any talking to camera at all. Um for those of you who haven't been following me on Instagram, I have new hair. And it's, and it's like quarter to three. Quarter to three and I haven't it's actually spoken to the clock. camera. Oh God. No, but we've still got <laughs> two and a half hours because it closes at half five. I can put a Guinness down there, right? Yeah, I can go to the bar. <laughs> We're both driving, no. <laughs> anyway, yes. Um, I, I've gone round. I'm not driving, I'm the driving force behind myself, but I'm not driving. Oh, who, what, how are you getting back to? I mean, I'm living here. Oh, you're living here. I'm living here. I've moved in. Whoops. <laughs> I'm not living here. I don't stay in this hotel. <laughs> yes. <Yeah>. Any. <laughs> yeah. If the uh... husband, I'm not coming home. I'm yeah. Spreading, I'm spreading the vanilla. <laughs> and all her unmade bags. <laughs> anyway, we've had a lovely, lovely day so far. Lots of people have come over and said hello. That one had a picture with Stephen West, and I wasn't here. So yes, it's fun. I've also met, who have I met? Mars from Hey Brownberry. Um, Grace from Bubbles Travelling Yarns. Um, other people, but who else have I met? Shamika. 
who I don't follow, but it's lovely. I need to follow her. I need to rectify that. The queen of double knit scarves. And is the queen of double knit scarves. If, if, if Nathan Taylor is the king of double knitting, she's the queen of double knitting. <laughs> don't tell his husband. Um, <laughs> Oh yeah, maybe he should. Oh, but what does that make Shamika? Yeah, no. Let's not try. Let's not try and wear that out. <laughs> I bought yarn. I'll show you that later. And I bought this pin. Oh, let's see if it'll focus. Yes. And I bought th these pins. And I have a lovely sticker. And I've I'm got like knitter, lanyards. Look, look we're official. And we're official we're official knitters and I crocheters. Got a <laughs> I've been on Ravelry for decades, but oh I have God, a Ravelry I've got to go. Uh, have, have you ever gone p back through your library for things that you put in when you first went into Ravelry? You know. I did that a couple oh, of shame. weeks ago. It was awful. It's like going back through your Instagram. It was really account. bad. Nobody needs to see that. No. Oh yeah, that was that. There was a, there was a um. There was a trend, wasn't there? A couple about a couple of months ago, where people oh, were, yeah. were posting their first ever picture on, on Instagram. Nope. I went nope. back. I was like, delete, 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 delete. Anyway. Um, now I've spoken to camera, I'm going to turn it off and then show you some other pretty stuff later. So this is what we can see from our stand. There's UK alpaca there. That's, hello. There's watercolour and lace there. And Kasim. <laughs> and then down there is Undercover Otter. Who was? I have no idea who, who's but next to them. Lovely is Yonko. Newer. And then next to us, there's Zavany. We have Dublin Dye and... and our villa and tea and coffee woohoo so I've just met his older which was really quite cool and uh, Ellie from Skein Deer which was very cool, cool as well she's just bought a bag which was very fun um, I've switched my knitting so I was making my sock and now making a hat and um we're almost at the end. It's now four o'clock. We've got an hour and a half left. squinting into the sun, this is not good. Um, we are about to take photo for the make-along. I'm wearing my fanula. And uh, there are other other sweaters over here. Mars, Mars is here vlogging as well. And uh, we're being directed, so I need to turn my camera off. <laughs> I'm on the floor. <laughs> You've been demoted. <laughs> I'm sitting next to someone who's eating her lunch. <laughs> You've been demoted to a poor person. <laughs> but I've sold I've sold a lot of bags for her today, so it's fine. <laughs> Quite a few leather ones. Yay! Woohoo! We were a little bit my my hair is done is doing something really woohoo at the moment. I washed it today. I think the leather ones from my goal, they are my favourite. Yeah, we love the leather. Um Oh, that could be misconstrued in so many ways, what I just said. We love the leather. 
Um, so yeah, lunchtime. Um, the non <laughs> So, brilliantly, I'm going to post a picture because I can't be bothered to get it out of my bag, which is behind me. There we go. Um, I just scored the last Dragon Hill Studio uh, Woolen exclusive um, self-driving yarn, which makes me happy. Um, I feel a bit bad because it is the last one and it's only just lunchtime, but snooze you lose. Um, so uh, yes, I still need to go around most of the stands and film them in here, but we're tired and hungry. I'm a bit tired. And yeah, what is my hair doing? And you're going to look after the stands. Right? Yeah. I'm just going to get food. You need to do some more shopping. She needs to do stuffing her face. <laughs> um, I haven't actually filmed on Cat and Big, so I'm going to do that now. I haven't filmed it yet and I'm going to do it from the floor so and there's lights everywhere actually I need to stand up because the lights are completely mucking it up <laughs> so she's over there look at the cats and look at this the, aren't, the, aren't the sweaters friendly with each other it's really nice and you've got all the badges over there and all her thing and it's amazing and then that's watercolour and lace and alpaca and it's really busy today I won't show new stuff in her face Anyway, good. I'm, I'm videoing you. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing. <laughs> that's, oh my god, this everyone's hearing about the tiny hand. Can I have a high five from the tiny hand. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that made me so happy. <laughs> what have you started? That's a wrap, folks. Hello. So, I'm back in the hotel. I'm in our wardrobe. It, this, yeah, I'm not going to go into this hotel um, because this is not what the vlog is about. So, um, I thought, oh, with my tired looking hair, um, I'm not going to show you what I and bringing back because I'll show you in a minute what I've done with it um, but I will kind of do a bit of a recap um, it was a fab couple of days um, I had so much fun with Nu on her stand it was amazing love you I love you lots <laughs> um, and uh, I have packed away um, the very modest things I bought. I also received a few things which was really uh, really sweet of the organisers and a few other people. Um, it was it, it was a it was a really different perspective to do um, I'm putting you up on a I'm holding my arm on a shelf. It was a really different perspective to do um, a, a yarn show both as a recognised press person. I'm still like a nut press. Sorry. 
um, but also as um, a vendor. Um, so obviously, it wasn't my business that I was I was working on, but um, being on a stand and helping to sell things was really interesting from that perspective. Um, I met some amazing people because of that, because New has. Um, people know about her business, um, she has a bit of a following, there are a lot of very big personalities in the yarn community that um, know of her work um, and that meant that they came over to the stand, it meant that I got to meet them which was really nice um, and I think to some of them I was just the weird person who was who was helping New out but um, some people actually did take the time to really kind of talk, chat to me as well and, and include me in conversations and things like that so that was that was really nice. Um, I got to see a lot of people so there's some, I don't know where I've put it in this vlog but there will be some pictures of me and other people gurning at the camera um, <laughs> so yeah that was that was nice. What I'll do is when I get back to the UK because now um, I'm going to switch the camera off, I'm going to switch my phone off and we're going to actually have like four days of family holiday um, but when I'm back in the UK I will edit this up and um, probably do well. You'll have seen my intro because I'll, I've talked to the camera, but then I'll do a when I'm back um, with studio lights and kind of being able to show off all the purchases a bit better um, than this and this light <laughs> because oh, I'm tired. That's the one thing. Like, I'm always tired after a yarn festival, but. Being there in official in, in in two official capacities, yeah. <laughs> God, my feet hurt, <laughs> and I was wearing really comfy Timberland boots, like they have the nice comfy sole feature. I'm so glad I was wearing them because if I'd been even trainers, if I'd been wearing even trainers, I think my feet would be ruined. Um, but for now, I'm switching off. I'm going into family mode, and I'll see you back at my house. I'm back again! <laughs> um, so, this is what I got. Now, there were a few things that I purchased. There were a few things I was given. Um, Third things first. Uh, for those of you who follow me on Instagram will know that I actually applied for a press pass um, for Woolen, um, which gave me free entry, uh, which was lovely. Um, it also gave me this pass. Look at that. It says press. I'm not press, I have a podcast. Anyway, it was very exciting. I got that, wore that around my neck the entire weekend. Um, and then, very, I was very surprised by this. I got a goodie bag. So this is the, uh, they were selling these. This is the Woolen Official uh, canvas bag. Really nice um, construction. I really like it actually. Uh, and they were selling these as um, show merch i think that's probably the way to say it um and in it i received some goodies so there's the program i really love their aesthetic at all in it's really i really love it it's it's a lot of fun um so there was all sorts of information about it um there was all the talks and the where the workshops were and all, all the kind of stuff um, i think there's actually also a pattern in here there is this pattern, this scarf. Um, so it's called the Cranra, and I am not going to try and I am not going to try and pronounce the name of the designer. So there. Um, and then there was the map. Okay. So in my goodie bag, so you've got the program. I then got some yarn. This, oh, let's put it the right way up, is Studio Donegal Darnie. And this was one of the suggested yarns for the make-along. So the woolen make-along was two patterns. That was Fanula Shawl, um, which I really should be wearing now, shouldn't I? I'll show you that in a bit. I'll go off camera and come back. Um, there was the Fanula Shawl by Ava Nee, and then there was also the Insa sweater by... That was knit, and it, her handle on Instagram is LBH Hand Knit. I think I'll put the designer's name there. Um, so this is Studio Got Donegal. Uh, it's a heavier weight fingering, although there is 410 meters for 100 grams. But to me, that feels quite heavy. Um, let's see if that'll focus. 
there we go so this color is 8804 i don't know what the actual color is um it's a two ply and it's got these wonderful kind of little flecks of color within this so this i don't know what this is going to be but i'm keeping this which might give you a suggestion of what's happening with the rest. The other two yarns that I got were Adrafil Woka, which is an eco yarn. Uh, it is, I have no idea, 70% wool, 30% hemp. It's 110 meters for 50 grams, which makes it a DK, I would reckon. Okay, and then this unknown skein. <laughs> of this gorgeous blue but there is no labels on it whatsoever so those were the three yarns that came in my goodie bag which is really sweet of them and then i also got a project bag this is actually from knit pro um they do a range of, of project bags and in it was yeah hand block printed fabric bags this style is called the reverie yeah reverie triads um, it's definitely a, a good, I would say, a stock project with a bit, with a lot more to spare. So one skein project, it's got short, um, one skein project. Um, it's also got some pockets in here, little elasticated pockets. And in it came also thing that knit pro. So you got some stitch holders for the knitters and some locking stitch markers. Okay. So that came in my goodie bag. Let's just put stuff away, shall we? Right. Um, so that was the goodie bag. Um, so I was also there, as you'll have seen from the video, um, as a helper for New at Hyde and Hammer. So um, when we were talking about uh, her first, her first ever yarn festival, really cool. She does exhibit at like. Um, other shows, um, art exhibitions, things like that, because her works of her, her bags and pieces of art. Um, but she sells her bags, her project bags, particularly the zero threes, which are her big canvas bags, uh, primarily online. Um, and she was like, Do you know what? I'm gonna go to Woolen and see what happens. Um, we had a blast, as you'll have seen from the video. It was so much fun being on her stand. Um, I got myself a vendor badge, so I had two lanyards around my neck plus several badges which i'll show you later we had a lot of fun so um i decided that i wanted to be paid in in bag <laughs> i didn't want to be paid in money i wanted to be paid in bag um so i'll show you those now um i knew had loads of colors um and i absolutely fell in love with the blues so the one that i absolutely fell in love with was a zero three which was blue with neon stitching. Look at that. And now she was selling these with the light colored handles, um, which I don't have because I, I love the dark. Um, so I asked her very nicely um, after, between day one and day two if she would change the handles over for me. So she gave me dark handles. So this is the 03. It is a box bottom bag with a roll top. It is basically a giant rectangle all the way down. You've got your grab handle it does have pockets inside which you can see the stitching on the outside which is amazing um, and then this is a stud fastener so when you're using it you roll it up like that bring the straps over and stud closure like that but I love the neon stitching it makes me very happy um, I don't know if you can see I probably won't be able to show you but there's there's basically a big pocket here on this side and then there are you can see on the, this on the outside so there's a pocket there and then two three yeah three um thinner pockets this one's quite a lot thinner um on the inside so it's very useful very good sized sweater project um we were basically saying that you can fit a fingering weight sweater dk sweater at a push um in here so this is the 03 from Hyde and Hammer, which was day one's payment. Day two's payment was the 04. Now her 04 is a roll top and pop bottom bag. Now I will show you it flat to start with. All my yarn came back in this. Um, not, 
I didn't buy that much. So when I say all my yarn, there was a lot of room to spare. So this has a bit bigger real estate, but it is a lot more simple. It is basically a fabric rectangle with poppers on the bottom. Okay, and you pop uh, when you so when you um, when you're just carrying around your project, you uh, keep it flat. But when you want to uh, put it on a table, make it into a bit of a, kn a knitting bucket, you pop those closed and roll down the top, and it becomes a bucket. Isn't that clever? Same uh, dark leather handle and stud fastening. But this has a, got a little bit more space in it, so you can definitely fit a decent sweater quantity in one of these. And I love them. So this is the 04. Now, I don't think I'm going to get this out in time for New's update, but New had quite a lot left. We did sell out a few of her. The, um, the waxed green canvas that Amy from Stranded and Mina from the uh, Knitting Expat in different styles have been... Um, test running for for new that sold out really quickly um, and the mustard zero fours sold out really quickly um, loads of people had a, like really like the yellow zero fours uh, zero three sorry which was which was really cool um, but she's definitely got loads going in her update sometime today it's one of her biggest updates that she's had to date because she made a shit ton <laughs> for, for women honestly the woman did not stop for weeks beforehand um, and she makes them all herself so there is no production here um, at all uh, she makes them all by herself in her studio in the Cotswolds so let's start with let's go in chronological order shall we um, so the first place I went to before the show even started so uh, if you had a workshop or if you had a press pass you were allowed in early on the marketplace which was from nine o'clock um, and the first person I went to see was Faye. So Faye from Knit It, Hook It, Craft It, uh, also the Crochet Circle podcast, had a stand uh, in the marquee. And um, I had told her in advance that I wanted a green bean sheep's poster. And I wanted the A2 version. So I'm going to show you it in the cardboard because I'm not going to get the thing out. But I will pop a photo in here to show you what it looks like. I've got the tea towel. I've shown you before in my podcast. Um... But she's also her mistress badass, her um, her laser cutter has been working overtime uh, and she's just come out with these gauges. So this is a hook gauge. Now the reason why it's a hook gauge and not a needle gauge is because you've got the little tips. Now, do I have a crochet hook that I can show you two hand? Yes. So this is one of my Clover armor, Amor am armor. Um, do you know what it probably tells me on here? Oh, it doesn't, it just says Clover. So this is a 3.5. I can check it's a 3.5 because I can just shove it in that, in that thing. If you have, now, let me show you my furls. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, so I have a furls Odyssey hook, right? This thing tapers down. So I know that this is a 3.75, but if I put it into a, a standard kind of knitting needle gauge, it would get stuck in the holes. Um, knitting needle gauges have holes. Hook gauges are great because they, there we go, 3.75, look at that, um, because you can slot them in. You can still use this for knitting needles. Do I have a needle slot? Let's, let's get my sock needles out. Um, no, do you know what? DPNs, they're easier. So these are 2.5 millimeter needles, and they don't go in the 2. Point, oh, they don't go in 2.2. They can't go in 2.25. They will go in 2.5. Okay. Um, so you can use them for both. So if you do both, you need a hook gauge really. Um, and Faye was selling them. They smell oh amazing. I love the smell of natural wood. They are natural wood. There's also a gauge square. In the middle, it is a five centimeter, so that's a two inch, yeah, five centimeter, two inch gauge square. Really good. And I think this is a little hanging loop. So I'm going to shove this right there. Doesn't it look good? Although there's a necklace in the way, so I'm just gonna move the necklace. Look at that. Awesome. Come back. Thank you. Right, 
I'm gonna sorry. I'm gonna I'm gonna apologize for the touching the face. My eczema kind of flared here um, over the course of the week, and it was not fun. Um, so yeah, apologies if I keep touching my face and playing with my hair because it's new. <laughs> right. Um, next, I wanted the um, woolen exclusive. Uh, yarn from Unbelievable because that's the yarn I won last year for their, their Emerald Isle um, exclusive yarn from last year which went into my Skimming Stones um, mystery knit along, mystery knit along, mystery crochet along from um, the crochet project. So this is the Unbelievable show special for this year. Um, there is a story behind it. It's their wooden exclusive and it's called C'est La Vie. Now, I'm, I'm going to apologise for those people who were in the UK and Ireland and where Bewitched got to. Um, this is based on the Bewitched song C'est La Vie. Um, if I can, without being penalised by YouTube, I'm going to put a clip in here <laughs> to the music video for C'est La Vie. Now, the story goes that last year at karaoke, the This Is Knit Girls, um, who organised Woolen, this is how they, this is the song that they sang. And I kid you not, this song was in my head the entire of Friday <laughs> because of this yarn. But I love it. It's so beautiful. They've got the, the very, you've got the base of the, the kind of royal blue and then you've got the yellows and the browns. It's just gorgeous. I really like it. I think this might actually go in tomorrow's, because it's launched tomorrow, um, the uh, new mystery crochet along from the crochet project which is called Stash of Stat. Oh my god, it's gonna be. I apologize in advance because I'm gonna get this wrong with every podcast. Stash of Shells Mystery Crochet Along. So that might go in there. I'm not sure yet because there's options. Um, I then went to Gamer Crafting and who is lovely um, because I wanted their uh, rainbow knit and hook pins. Um, they are selling them in uh, aid of, I'm just, I have all my pins and badges in here. Um, they're selling them in aid of a LGBTQ charity. I think it's Mermaids. I might be wrong. I'll pop it down there if it's not. Um, and I'll put, put a link in the, in the down bar um, to the charity. Um, so they are selling um, a load of pride based pins and they are an LGBTQ um, business um, and she's got a lot of stick for this which is really unfair because actually if LGBTQ businesses can't sell pride things for charity there is something wrong with the world. Sorry, soapbox. Um, so I went straight to her and I got the beautiful, if you're an ally, so I am, I am obviously a heterosexual woman, I'm married with a child, uh, <laughs> married to a man with a child, sorry, should clarify that. Um, so the things, the, the, the pins that say bi-stitch or pan -stitch or all that kind of stuff, they don't, they don't work for me. So I kind of said, what should an ally um, have? And, and she suggested these ones. Now, this is going to be fun because these are glittery. There we go. So you've got two that say hook and knit and they're rainbow glitter. I love them. These were on my hat <laughs> for the entire day one. <laughs> they were on the brim and I love them. They are the most awesome pins. Um, and then I also, so you know the whole social justice warrior thing has been uh, bandied about as a bit of an insult. Um, and she did, uh, she uses the same badge, badge people that I use my, for, for my uh, podcast badges. I'm just gonna do a quick plug. Podcast badge! Um, if you want one, I do sell them and I have a charity. I haven't picked out my charity for this month. I'll have to think about that. Oh, it might be a pride one. I'll have a think. But yeah, if you want a badge, basically I'll, shove the cost of postage to me and I'll send you one and uh, it'll, the entire cost will go to charity. Um, so anyway, she has um, created a range of nine pins uh, based on 
gaming terms. So I think she based them on D and D, but some several of them count for World of Warcraft. Now my husband used to play World of Warcraft; he still does sometimes. Um, and I had to get the social justice paladin because that's his main character is a paladin, and I just love the blue, the blue sword. It is the coolest. So yeah, that's a little badge, which again will go on my project bags. Literally, my aim for this this um this festival was not to buy yarn because I have a lot of yarn. I don't need more. I, I bought some, but mainly because I wanted it rather than because I had a, you know, anyway. Um, although actually, mm, mm. So yeah, so I went to Game of Crafting and that's what I bought from Game of Crafting. Um, oh, <laughs> New and I also had, she made us these badges. They are leather two little pin backs and that was stuck onto our onto our lanyards as well and I love this thing this is going to take pride of place somewhere prominent and I don't know where but I love it and it's going to age beautifully right that one's done um mm -mm -mm. so the next place I went the rest of it was all bought on day two so day one, I basically, sp I didn't vlog very much. Um, day, sp day two, uh, day one, I spent basically kind of making sure that Nia was okay, uh, letting her leave the hotel for the first time in 24 hours, um, go around and see people. I had lunch with Lisa, who's Lisa Raspberry Crochet, also of the Craft Bank. She was a um, volunteer, which was awesome. So she was on, uh, she was on, oh, where was she? Cloakroom on day one, and then she was on the Ravelry Lounge, which I'll talk about in a minute. Actually, I'll talk about the Ravelry Lounge now. Um, so, Jessica, who is one of the co-founders of Ravelry, awesome human being, we got to have a chat with her and see the new branding. So cool. Um, it's really cool. <laughs> we had a really nice chat with her. Actually, the chat ended up on the Woolen uh, Day One highlights reel, which was really cool. Um, and I got a picture with her and new. Um, she came down and she set up the Ravelry Lounge and that was run by the volunteers um, and it meant that if you saw a one of the samples on one of the booths and you were like, I must have that, bought the yarn and then wanted the pattern, you could go to the Ravelry Lounge, pay for the pattern through This Is Knit and they'd print it off for you. Awesome. Um, and they also had the Ravelry Hello My Name Is badges. So I got two. One that is my Ravelry name, and then one that is the Craft Bank. Seeing as I'm one of the mods of the Craft Bank, talked to a couple of people about it, which was really nice. Uh, talked to a couple of the yarn dyes about like if they wanted to support um, people on less income and 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 offer pattern support or um, or discounted yarn or whatever. Um, so that was really good to chat to some vendors about that. So that was that. Um, it was really nice meeting Jessica. Um, she had a bit of a mare on the on the flight over with her bag um, breaking and stuff like that. But actually, it was just really nice to chat to her and kind of and actually thank her because a lot of us wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Ravelry. Like the forums keep us in touch with everyone. Okay, there's Instagram, but actually, a lot of us we get our patterns through Ravelry. There's a lot of support for obviously there's a lot of support for pattern designers through Ravelry. Um, they're an awesome they're an awesome resource. Yes, they're clunky, but they're working on it. Um, and I got to I got to say to her that actually their new developer who's just come on and is making loads of changes is just awesome. I am so impressed with what they've, they've done so far. Right, next, I went, so the next day I did some more spending and I went to, um, dye candy, let's do dye candy first. I wanted one of her mind um, pins. So she has a pin that the money is going to um, mind um, or some of the money is going to mind and it was a collaboration between her and Sam Draws Things who um, Sam does now I need to remember who she was the artist behind the um, oh you know there was the flowers the flower yarn that came out once a once a month last year in aid of Marie Curie, I can't remember what it was called. Different yarn dyes got involved, but she did all the drawings of the flowers. Anyway, so she got collaborated with Hutch from Dye Candy, and this is their pin. 
have a look please can you please focus there we go it says um drop the stitch no drop the stigma not the stitch love it and there's hutch she's so cool she was such a nice woman to chat to um and it's a fab it's a fab pin it's quite heavy so i'm gonna have to put it on something that is not a very it's gonna have to go on canvas um, rather than yeah um so I bought that and then I also bought a skein of her cloud lace. Oh, please focus. <laughs> Come on. There we go. This is her cloud lace of 300 meters to 50 grams. Um, it is 74% brushed baby suri alpaca and 26% mulberry lace. And it is in the colorway Unicorn Massacre. <laughs> um, I wanted to try this as a, an alternative to mohair. Um, I have some mohair, I'm not sure how my, my skin is going to deal with it, but I know that my skin deals with alpaca really well and it is not at all like mo al um, mohair silk. It is a lot squishier, there's a lot more halo, um, and mohair sheds, alpaca doesn't as much. So, um, I am gonna team this with, um, some DK weight uh, easy knitter um, and put it into a co-book hat which is a Caitlin Hunter pattern. Okay, uh, I've done the pin. Uh, the pin also came with a fridge magnet. I love it. Thank you so much for supporting our businesses and helping us to fundraise for Mind. We'd love to hear from you and see any of your pics. Find Hutch and Sam on Instagram. So we can, it has a little magnet on the back. Love it. Always love a unicorn. So, that's that. Um, while I was over in the marquee, I went to see um, Bernie from Bear in Sheep's Clothing and I, she gave me, I didn't buy this, she gave me one of her Gin and Bear It pins. Um, she is uh, providing the yarn for Faye's um, sweater that's going down the aisle at the runway, sorry not aisle, down the runway, at Perth Festival of Yarn and I got a look at it and it's gorgeous. Um, so gorgeous that I might actually have to buy some, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, I think Faye is planning on, I don't think she's made the announcement of what sweater won the vote, but you can go on and look and deduce. Um, I don't think it's the one I wanted uh, and I think she's going to do a make along. Um, so, but I'm sure she'll announce that on her, uh, podcast at the beginning of July. So what's the first Friday of July? I don't, let's, let's just look now, shall we? Um, first Friday of July is the 5th. 5th of July is when Faye will have her next podcast and I'm assuming she'll announce it then, if not on her Instagram before. Um, so last pin that I have, I think. Yes, there's nothing else in there. Um, is this one, which says short hook, big ideas. And this is one of Ava Nee's pins. Um, so I went over and had a chat with her with my shawl. I'm gonna go and get it now. Okay, I'm now wearing my shawl. <laughs> so I went over, um, it was day two. So we had our meetup um, and you'll have seen footage. Um, so I went over afterwards and she took a picture of me with my uh, with my shawl next to her mannequin with her shawl with the original so there were two there was one that was on the nurse's knit which was made out of Darnie I think and then there was one that was on her stand which was her original um, really nice woman uh, I had a lovely chat with her um, and yeah it was just it was just really lovely so that was that one then I went and got um, so the lovely guys from Dragon Hill Studio who are literally they are a five minute drive down the road from me did the official woolen exclusive yarn. So I went all the way to Dublin to buy yarn from people that dye it down the road from me. <laughs> and I went I put it on my stories and Sharon was like oh my god that's not oh oh yeah mm, I got the last one. <laughs> I got the last one and I, met, I put it on my stories and uh, Sharon came back to me and went oh my god I haven't even got one <laughs> so I may end up swapping this back with her if she wants it um, so yes um, it is a beautiful self-striping look at that uh, oh 
Come on, there we go. Um, but yeah, it is the woolen exclusive on their Sherborne sock, and it's fab. So that's really good. I also bought myself this year's pin. Because it's all about the pins! There we go. Um, yes, yeah, so that was the woolen. Um, I then, uh, two more purchases. Um, so, news, um, technically her local yarn store is a yarn story in Bath. Um, and Carmen was there uh, with quite a large booth. Um, she was selling some of the yarns that she sells in the store and also her own Walcott yarns. Um, uh, so her Walcott yarns uh, Opus is a um, is a sport weight yarn that is dyed in or is made in the UK. Um, it's it is seventy percent Falkland merino, thirty percent baby alpaca, a hundred percent awesome. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There we go. Um, Three hundred and twenty five meters to hundred grams, um, and this is their collab that they did with Ushatita um, and it's called Jungle Lagoon they did a few colours I think it was three colours um, and Carmen actually got a skein of this for herself as well it is gorgeous yarn I don't know what it's going to go into part of me is thinking it's, it's between this one and this one for um, the new mystery crochet along from the crochet project I haven't decided yet um, but yeah, so made in the UK, hand dyed in the Le Netherlands by Ushatita. So it's their, it's their um, collab and it's just bloody gorgeous. They did also have the Ushatita Squirrel Kids colourway, but it's in single ply and I'm trying to stay away from single ply merino at the moment. And then lastly, I went and spent some time in the marquee again um, and had a chat to people. Mainly so I could deliver a, a project bag to, um, to uh, Dye Candy, uh, to Hutch from New. Um, they did a swap. Um, and I went to Irish Artisan Yarns. Now, soapbox time, sorry. Um, for those of you who watch Crochet Circle podcast and who've watched a couple of podcasts back from me, I mentioned that um, I do not want to give my money to businesses that don't credit crochet as much as knitting. Um, so I was very careful to talk to people um, about their stands and I went over and was talking to a lot of people about uh, that had only got knitting samples and said have you thought about having crochet samples because obviously crochet shows off yarn differently um, and a lot of people were actually quite receptive which was very nice it didn't stop the fact that n very few had crochet samples on their stands um, and our Tara of Irish Artisan Yarn who was there with her parents and she was she's such a lovely woman um, she had three, yeah, three samples in crochet on her stand. Um, and I would say probably four or five in knitting. So actually not a bad ratio. Um, uh, other people were uh, like Unbelievable had crochet. Um, I think Undercover Otter had crochet. Obviously Ava Nee because she's Tunisian. Um, who else? Oh, damn it, what was her name? Excuse me while I look up my... There was a lady in the main hall. So the, the, the event was split over the over two um, two areas. There was the uh, Marquee and then there was also the, the Somerville Suite. Now, we were on stand 26, she was on four. No, three. Eve Chambers Textiles had a lot of crochet on there as well. She was, um, she was Ireland based but wasn't Irish herself, I think, if I remember. Um, so we had a long chat about crochet, which was really nice. Um, so yeah, so I had some good chats. I had some a little bit frustrating chats. Um, there was one vendor who had all knitting samples because she was a knitter, and I said, "Have you ever thought about crochet?" There's 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 people who will do samples, and Faye, who was literally like up the up the aisle from them, um, uh, I said, "Faye's hoping to create a list of sample crocheters and and do an open letter and things like that," and she was so apologetic. <laughs> It was really sweet. She was so apologetic. She was like, oh, God, I hadn't even thought of that. I'm really sorry. Oh God, I'm gonna have to think about that. Da, da, da. And it was, it was really nice. It was really nice. That was die, die, done. Um, anyway, I went to Irish Arts and Yarn um, and we had a lovely chat and then I bought one of her gradient packs. So this is the Emerald Isle. This is four ply, 100% superwash merino. 
Um, I'm not going to get them out of the bag, but I am going to show you in the bag like that. There we go. These are definitely being used in the in the stash of shells. I need 250 grams of yarn. That's 100. I'm almost halfway there. Um, and then we were talking, Tara and I, about samples, and, and they're doing Yarndale. And Yarndale is a bit more crochet heavy, which is really nice. <laughs> because of Lucy of Attic 24, she's one of the organisers. Um, and she went, oh, I could really do with another sample. And I went, well, I do sample crochet. I've done samples for people. Um, she went, okay, are there any patterns? And, I, and she was, li again, literally down the aisle from, um, from Faye and I went, Faye does designs. So we went over to Faye's, <laughs> Faye's stand. Um, so again, so Faye is Knit It, Hook It, Craft It at Fairs, but she's also Faye DH Designs, um, and she has some beautiful, really modern, really classic, will stand the test of time designs um, in crochet and also in knit. Um, and I don't think she gets enough press on it and enough exposure, um, because her, her, her patterns are amazing. Um, I have a few. <laughs> um, and so we decided on a DK weight, um, and we decided on loft. Now I've made a loft before, I own that pattern, I own both the four ply and also the DK weight uh, crochet that's also available in it if you wanted it. Um, so we chose loft, we chose DK, we ran back to a stand and we got, excuse me while I just grab them, and we got these three. So we've got two tonals and one variegated. Um, now this one is Misenhead and as she, she, her, um, Tara's kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, oh my God, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, 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 my tongue. She uses, she uses um, areas of Ireland, I think, to kind of help her with her colours. I can't remember the word. I'm going to remember it in the edit and I'm going to put it there and it's going to be like a giant klaxon. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is Misen Misen head. And then there is, this is Bundaran, Bundaran. I love this one, this is gorgeous. And then this one is Carrick a Reed. So yeah, these are just going to be gorgeous in a loft all together. There you go. So yeah. So these do not belong to me. They have been put in my little hands for me to crochet up and um, what Tara does is quite a lot of other yarn dyes do for samples is how much you use they will pay you in that yarn. So I will get three skeins worth of Irish artisan yarn as payment when this is complete. That's me yarn. Um, a couple of other things. Um, so, new sponsored, the Hyden Hammer sponsored the Friday night activity, which was yarn dating. Um, they didn't call it that, but um, yeah, yarn dating. And she sponsored it. And instead of doing um, what a lot of people do that sponsor things, um, they instead of kind of putting leaflets and business cards and things like that, she decided that she was going to create these tags. So, this is the Woolen Souvenir Skein, that is a hashtag, <laughs> Woolen Souvenir Skein. And she put it on everyone's um, tables. Why are you not focusing? There we go. Uh, she, everyone got one. And it is something that you can then put on your souvenir skein. So let's put it on this. So you can weave it into your souvenir skein. And then when it's time to use it, uh, you can put a little bit of yarn on it on the tag and then it's there as a kind of reminder of what you yeah, it was really, it's a really good idea. Um, these are all leather. She did do some vegan ones for those who are um, not happy with leather. So she did some in FSC um, Sustainable Wood. Um, and it says, we at Hyde and Hammer wish you a fantastic festival, whether you are shopping, attending workshops, or catching up with old friends. Uh, when you get your hands on the special skein you're dreaming of, make it a little bit more special with a Hyde and Hammer uh, souvenir tag, a perfect memory of what is sure to be the best woolen yet. Share your skeins with hashtag souvenir skein 2019 and woolen souvenir skein. Um, so yeah, I got one of these from the lovely new. Right, uh, one more thing. A bit of a knitting celebrity. There were quite a few knitting celebrities, to be fair, um, at, at this event. Um, 
but Isolde decided that she was going to do a day trip over which was really nice and I, we got to meet her um, and she was wandering around and she was giving out these. This is her rainbow sheep sticker and I love it and I've already put it, I don't know where it is, there we go, on my phone! <laughs> so you might, you, you see that I've got a second one, you'll have seen that I got some stuff, I'm gonna do a giveaway. <laughs> so you are getting this project bag, the lockable stitch markers, the two, the blue and the Adrafil skeins of yarn, the Isolde Rainbow Sheep. You are also getting a souvenir skein tag. Uh, it is all going to go in this lovely little bag. I think that's all that's going in there. Yep. And this I am giving away. So for those particularly who didn't make it to Woolin, but anyone can enter, um, the way to enter is I now have a Ravelry group. <laughs> So you need to, and I'll pop a link down below, you need to go to my Ravelry group, you need to join the Ravelry group and I will open up a thread called Woolen Souvenir Skein, Woolen Souvenirs actually, Woolen Souvenirs, um, and I would like you to tell me if you've been to Ireland where your favourite place is and if you've not been to Ireland where you would like to go. There you go, so that's the, that's the question. So I'll start, I'll start a, a, a thread up in my Ravelry group. I've got a Ravelry group. <laughs> um, and if you go and answer the question there, join the group, answer the question. There's also an intros thread. So if you want to come and say hello and introduce yourself, that'd be lovely. Um, and I will draw this, let's say in two weeks time. So today is the Thursday, the 20th of June, no Thursday, no two weeks from when I publish this podcast. So it'll likely be Friday the 5th of July. I'm hoping I can edit this and sort it out within 24 hours, we'll see. But yeah, I will I will draw on Friday the 5th of July. Um, right, that's it. Thank you for coming along with me to my, um, to my trip to Woolin. Um, it's a bit of a different vlog from the other festivals I've been to, mainly because it was also a family holiday. So I didn't do the travel there or the travel back or any of the holiday because we switched off. We had, um, I had a, a, a mini break from Instagram. Um, I still was on kind of liking stuff, but I wasn't really um, as glued to it as I normally am. It was quite nice, actually. It was quite refreshing. Uh, right, I'm going to go and put all this yarn in the freezer. I'm going to skein up that DK. And I'm going to get my washing machine which is currently beeping at me. <laughs> I'll see you in my next podcast. Bye!